Hello, the name is Doris, Disco Doris, double O no, a license to chill. I am so sorry I took longer in the bathroom than I expected before I got back to uh, the, uh, the table. So, uh... hi Kate. Hi Ghostly. You're shamelessly in your pyjamas with a blankie ready for chill stream. No shame in PJs, absolutely not. Hi, hi, how are you? I've forgotten to put my green screen up. <coughs> One moment. There we go. Pro streamer, I know, right? Late back to the table, forgot the green screen. <laughs> In the bathroom too long, everything going wrong. Welcome to some house flipper. Uh, I still haven't done the house flipper two start uh, video, but I'm sure you were okay with a walk through the woods. Uh, yeah, we're doing the Pinnacove Suburbs a Timber House, uh, which, uh, which is this one here. Uh, outside workshop had a bit of a fire, but it, you know, the inside doesn't look too bad. So let's go and have a look, see what we can do with it. It's like seeing behind the scenes at Disneyland. You can see how absolutely messy I really am. It's not, not so great. Oh, we're here. We're here already. Good Lord, my mind is elsewhere today. So this is the burnt workshop. We can come back to this in time, but yeah. Let's go and have a look at the main house. See what's going on. The garden's pretty. It needs a bit of a tidy, but it's quite a pretty garden. Door's a little bit old, but we might be able to uh, to, to just put a, a new finish on that. Oh, it's a little bit old-fashioned in here, isn't it? But I feel like loads of potential clean it up, get some fresh furniture in here. It's a nice living room to come into. What have we got? We've got lots of rooms. So we've got a, a small bathroom. That, that takes us out to the back garden. Okay, it's not a very big house then. I thought it might be bigger than it actually is. This is a downstairs bedroom. And a second bathroom. Do we need two bathrooms on this level? This is the kitchen. So yeah, why have we got two bathrooms? That's my first question. Also, why am I wandering around with the rubbish sack? And then we've got one bedroom here, which has got a nice... And one bedroom here, and this balcony. Okay, so to have that really open living space down here, we've sacrificed a lot of upstairs room. Now, question. Do I put in a floor? halfway up and give ourselves more upstairs room and lose the sort of uh, wide open living room? Or do we make it slightly smaller? So they, they describe this as a three bed, one and a half bathroom, but we've got two bedrooms up here and no bathroom. There's an extra bathroom downstairs but only one up here. Ah, 
And that doesn't sit very well with me. Hi, Snowdrake. I'm good today, thank you, Ghostly. Uh, I popped into town earlier, had a, a had a wander, and picked up. I have prescription swimming goggles now. So what don't we have? We don't have laundry. Oh, hang on. We've got a small pantry, I think. Yeah, I think there's a pantry under the stairs. There might be more room under the stairs than we've already got here. Hmm. I mean, kitchen diner is okay. The living room's not bad. We've got the separate entrance that Pokey and Snowdrake like. So you've got a room down here for your shoes and your um, outside clothes, like a little boot room type area. I wonder whether we should put a separate... Um, door on here so it's completely so if it's cold outside rather than coming through like this you actually come through another door we could block that in I'm perturbed about the two bedrooms upstairs without another toilet is it going to ruin it if I put more floor area in upstairs. Now I can see while at the pool. Absolutely. I mean, it's difficult to explain, but actually, the, that's the prescription swimming goggles. Um, how bad my eyesight is without glasses. Because I'm long-sighted, I'm not short-sighted. A lot of people are short-sighted and, and um, it's a very different experience. I'm long-sighted and astigmatic. Which means I can't see things under my nose. And I'm, I'm always scared at the swimming pool. That actually... Um, I'm going to walk into a small child or something because I can't really judge where they are on the side of the pool. Twitch doesn't want to load any video, so you're looking at the YouTube stream with the Twitch chat, which seems to work. I missed somebody in the Twitch in the YouTube chat last stream. I feel bad. Cause what's the point of having the YouTube? stream open if I don't keep an eye on the uh, on the YouTubes as well ah uh, well but I'm glad that you can watch the YouTube stream and uh, and chat in Twitch it's, it's quite useful for that sort of thing I think right let's get rid of some of this furniture Uh, hmm. Uh, 
and do some cleaning. You were at the pool once and one lady banged her head on the side of the pool while doing laps as she couldn't see and she split her head open. It wasn't pretty and as someone who is also visually challenged, you think prescription goggles are a great idea. Honestly, I'm quite excited about them. Might be my age. You see, that fireplace is really quite nice. I like the fireplace. We, we have got a bit of work to do with regards to cleaning the place up. Looks like I'm going to have to replace every single window. looks like quite nice I don't think I need to do any uh, change to that come on no it doesn't want to give me that bowl There we are. Get it if I open the cupboards. You think there are options in OBS that combine both chats or even bots that can cross post both? They can. They're against TOS, uh, Snowdrake, for Twitch. I, I have two windows open. That's my answer. I, it, it, was, it was user error. It wasn't the fact that I can't. They're, they're not available to me. It was user error. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I mean... I'm not a partner, so I I have to I really have to abide by the rules, because small streamers are the ones that get it in the neck. Other than the window, that's not a bad bathroom. I mean, that's only a half bath, isn't it? Uh, but I don't see the point of having the half bath there. 
and then immediately having another bathroom here. Please close the toilet. No, nobody wants to see inside the toilet. Thank you very much. Clean and tidy enough. Need needs retiling in here. I don't think we need somebody else's slippers, do we? Or slides. Let's close that. And I thought I'd close that before. Apparently not. So there's an actual bathroom in here. How much further would I need to bring this out? Like, I've got to get rid of the windows and the doors anyway. Now, I remember you all saying that you thought the other house that we did, the, the um, house which was uh, just a job, I remember you all saying that you didn't think it was worth losing all the space, having the place opened up. So is the same true for this timber house, do you think? I could just put it in and we'll see how it looks. What do you think? Interesting though, I'd have to step down one. Oh, that's not where I wanted that. Not at all. That's where I wanted that. Okay. So that gives us a ceiling. 
What do people think? Too dark? Or absolutely fine? I mean, it would look better with a white ceiling, obviously. Seems like I can't do anything with the beams. Can, can I? Oh, I can. <laughs> we just have to do it like this. I mean, in reality, never do this to your house. Because these are structural and your roof will fall off. But this is House Flipper, so I can get away with this. Oh, talking of House Flipper, Pokey and I are doing something exciting in real world uh, Dorky Towers. And uh, looking to put in proper bespoke wardrobes. And when I say bespoke, I mean that they will actually measure the room and make the cupboards to perfectly fit in the room Why does there we go that angle I was like why does why is that one the only one that doesn't want to play ball properly You like the open plan, but you can see the appeal of the full ceiling. So much untapped space. I mean, I know, right? Look how much room we've gained up here. I know not all of it is uh, full height. We've still got this lovely open beam section. So what I'm thinking is... I'm going to need to... I think I'm going to make this into like a uh, the master bedroom. I will make one of these rooms into dressing room and um bathroom that was a big pause i've got so conscious about how much i pause looking at videos of uh, stuff i've done in the past but it's because i have to sort of quiet the squirrels down to work out what i'm saying when there's four thoughts going on in your head at the same time, trying to get one out seems to be quite awkward. There's been a lack of pokey. You hope he's okay. He's okay as far as I know. Although he hasn't made me uh, a hot drink yet. 
I don't know whether he's pre preoccupied. Uh, he thought it was 20 minutes earlier than it was. He's currently suffering from uh, colleagues' emergencies. Also, likewise, Snowdrake, I do not know what house flipper people do to make these places so mucky. And how they managed to sell their houses. Let's hope we got it at an absolute steal because they are mucky, mucky people. Also, I quite like the uh, idea of being Demolition Doris. I mean, this has got a lot of character, this this nice sort of pointy room. But it's probably going to have to be a bathroom because where would you fit a shower? I think I'd look fabulous in overalls and a sledgehammer. I've got a picture of me in overalls somewhere because um, there are pictures of me when I was working on um, an oil refinery island and you had to be in, and I mean yellow overalls. Uh, honestly, I look like April from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. Uh, the yeah, the the cartoon. Oh, colleague, um, emergencies, Blake, Snowdrake, you made this new thing and put it into production environment despite you telling us it needed more testing. So now the basic functions are no longer working, but that's your problem. Yeah, this one's a slightly different um, colleague emergency. So I would say that the marketing um team didn't do their job they're an american marketing team and managed to miss one of the biggest uh european conferences coming up so that's that's the thing and the colleague who's got the emergency is a salesperson who was who's been working with a prospect a bank and they were like, oh, we'd love to catch up with you at this conference. And he was like, oh, we're not going. Because, like, this is the first time he's heard about this conference. I mean, it's not the salesperson's uh, job to keep track of conferences and decide that whether the company attends them or not. Anyway, the bank said... You're not going. You're not going to the biggest European event. Does this mean that, you know, your company is just completely disinterested in providing the service that this conference is the biggest conference of in Europe? So, so the upshot is this colleague and possibly Pokey will be attending that conference uh, next week. Hi, Halo! Hi, Dina! What do I pull off in Coral Island? Uh, 
Oh, and overalls look. This one's actually got a balcony, so... It's very grubby though. It's a very dead plant. Bye bye, dead plant. Right. Mm. Good news, field trip, bad news. Ah, field trip tomorrow. Pretty much, Snow Drake. You love your dungarees, they're really cute, but bathroom breaks twi take twice as long as you have to contort yourself to get out of them. Absolutely. Uh, dungarees, um, fly suits, anything that's a one piece. Like, as a little woman, just no. If you need to pee, there is, uh, there is so much wriggling in and out of your clothes. I mean, and heaven forfend you get caught short in public. You just have to completely strip to have a wee. So I'm wondering the room with the balcony. Should we make this, this bigger? Like take down this wall here. Then bring it all the way over. I reckon. You know someone that has his status message on team set to a lack of planning on your part does not imply any urgency on mine. I know, right? But I can also sympathise with the uh, the person who is like, oh, the person I'm trying to sell to is ta telling me that Uh, I need to uh, get my act together because otherwise um, 
Or, or my company needs to get its act together because otherwise you're losing the sale. I can understand their panic. Have I made a mess of the outside now? I think I might have made a mess of the outside by putting those walls in. Yeah, a bit of a mess there. I don't know what I can do about that though. Maybe I can get up on the roof and demolish selected bits. Oh well. So I need that for doors. And what side do I want? So we've got that very orangey colour, haven't we? I think I want the left hand side. We've got those very orange colours. Shall we stick with the orange? Do you think that works with the, the orangey floors? Do I need a slightly darker colour? That's a darker colour. Hmm. High gloss wood panels, warm wood. I think I'll go across the floor in here. You know, here is where I'd like the ability to be able to put in roof lights. on what wood this is it just said warm wood didn't it I think it looks great but you can em empathize with the Poor intern who has to find a way to be included late to this thing because someone who should have known better is fucked up. But it's not an intern. It's a salesman. But
Yeah. Some people are very, very... Um... Oh my God, what did I just do? Hang on. Oh, well, that's the thing. Okay. Um, yeah, some people are very, very ungrateful. I mean, because I worked for the government... Now, should I put the wall in or not on here? Because I work for the government, my first job, we were literally expected to book our own hotels. And we had a really minuscule budget too. So I could not afford to be like sniffy about such things. Pokey books all his own travel, by the way. Nobody else does. What I'm saying, Dina, is we had to handle those problems ourselves. We weren't even spoiled. Neither Pokey nor I have ever had other people booking. I say ever. That ever's not true because I did have a very lovely la lady called Fiona who booked my stuff when I was in HR Wallingford. So, um, group secretary. She was very lovely. And she did a marvellous job. But, Pokey and I have both been in the situ... Why, why are you not doing a thing? There we go. Both Pokey and I have been in the situation where... Um, we have been the ones expected to organise those things. And likewise, if, if Pokey uh, does go to Ghent next week... So I don't know how close that is to you, Snow Drake. But he's got to go to Ghent next week. Maybe. That's where the conference is anyway. Um He, he will be the one doing the, uh, the booking of said things. Hi, Pokey. Speak of the Pokey and he shall appear. About 20 minutes by train or 30 minutes by car. Pokey, my darling, I don't have a hot drink. Is it possible for me to have a hot drink, please? Please, please, please.
two to three hours by car because the farmers are mad and protesting on the highways. Pokey, you and your uh, friend might want to rethink getting the rental car from uh, um, Brussels Airport to Ghent. He's already booked it. Okay. I was just explaining that you've been having uh, uh, colleague uh, difficulties. Right, so we need some doors. Interior doors. Actually, I could just make the doors white. That would that would save my problems, wouldn't it? style paste style now can I do the same down here I can I don't know whether I'd want the wood surround around the white. I think the white actually looks better without the wood surround. Okay, so yeah, it's a bit darker in here, but do I regret? I don't think I do. I think that looks pretty nice, actually. So we could probably change this bathroom out. Have a bathroom down there, but I think we should also... Uh, do I want to keep that as a bathroom or should I change it out as a shower room? So we've got the height here. It's still filthy in here. I thought I'd cleaned it. Eh. I don't need to do too much to this bathroom other than retile it. I think we'll leave that as a bathroom. And maybe just have the half bath up here. But this is a big room for a half bath, isn't it? Although I did say that I might make it a dressing room as well. 
So maybe put cupboards along there and the bathroom part this side. I want to keep this room as a bedroom because, I mean, we've made it a bit bigger, which I think works nicely. We can get some taller furniture in here. Let's put you on the floor for the time being. Move the chair. Do you move in one piece? You do. Excellent. Can I get you in that side? I cannot. I think you might have to go. Because I think I'd rather have a tall cupboard there. Although we can move some of this stuff and make it feel very much more open. I mean, I feel like that feels a lot more open like that. We've got some decorating to do in here. Again, we'll leave the wood, I think. Although I might redo the wood, I'm not sure. I wonder whether I can refinish the wood in any way. Maybe I should, maybe I should do wood all the way along here as well. And if I redo the wood like that... Why have these ones got nice tops and then these two haven't? Grungy wood style. You like the wood, just put in lots of lighting and comfy seating. It just looks like it's not consistent, the wood, or do you like the fact that the wood colour is not consistent all the way across? the wood in the living room the wood in the living room is fine um, yeah we, we we've made more room upstairs by putting this in we've got a good size kitchen diner as well which honestly is pretty good needs a little bit of refreshing Need, needs a little bit of love needs needs a refrigerator
I might I might just sort of like delete one thing here and then paste the style across all the others. Because it's really not bad. Uh, do I want to keep that? I don't think I want to keep the flowery wallpaper. We've got a little cupboard here. Which is like a pantry cupboard. Might not even do anything with that. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is copy that style and paste it there. You'd get rid of the wood walls in the bedroom, but I mean, part of it is, this is the timber cottage, so... Or the timber house, rather. On one wall but I think I want to make it consistent so like where it's where it's a different color I'd like to just bring it all together in the same color But I might not put it on any other wall. Sorry, it would have bugged me, even though you couldn't see it. It would have bugged me. with a nice uh, light neutral colour it won't look as bad as you think Snowdrake but you know by all means um, wait for me to fall flat on my face with uh, with the colour I choose right I want a sort of a sandy yellow brown So we'll try yellow, faded. They're a bit green. Let's have a look at the orange faded. They're a bit pink. Ugh. I think that's the sort of color I want. So, so what do you think of the, the much brighter colour? Does it clash with those floors?
I have no idea where I'm out of paint too there. Let me let me move you across the door for a moment. There we go. You like the combination? You're feeling rough, so you think you'll go lay in the bath? Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're feeling rough, Pokey. That's not ideal. It's probably the stress of the day, to be perfectly honest. It's not been great. Why haven't I painted that bit over there? make a bigger window than that it's not an ideal size oh I wonder have I got room you know what I'm gonna brick both of those up we're gonna put sliding doors in here instead you like it but it needs a baseboard I can do that in a moment Scurrying around the house looking for food you don't have to put too much effort into making. I feel you, Halo, although I've been spoiled the last couple of days. Right, let me move that light switch. Actually, let's just move it. Let's put you over there for the time being. So I reckon sliding doors in here. Because why the heck would you not have nice big sliding patio doors out onto that lovely balcony? Get as much light as you possibly can. Probably comes under doors rather than windows, doesn't it? So we've got a double door. Actually, the double door might be a more traditional um, solution for the timber house. I was thinking of these, but actually I think those would look better with the style of house we've got. I just don't know what colour. White ones? I mean, I put white ones elsewhere, haven't I? So let's, let's put the white ones in. And I reckon I can get this over this side. That would work. Okay. We've got some finishing to do. No Drake says I need a baseboard. That does not look like the same colour. Even though I used the... Really? 
Are you absolutely sure? It's what it says. Okay. Right, let's move everything. Now you can see where I didn't paint. Let's put you there for the time being. I haven't got rid of the paint, have I? Okay, paint is done. Let's go back to moving the furniture. Why are you so far out? You don't need to be that far out. Oh, I think the bedside table was interfering. And I forgot I was moving it this way. I mean, it would fit if House Flipper wasn't bonkers. So it, it, it thinks that the mirror is that tall. So it's not letting me move it any further left. But do you know what? I think that's good enough. It only overlaps this door a teeny tiny amount. And you'd certainly live with that in reality, wouldn't you? Right. Uh, baseboards. Incidentally, UK would call them um, skirting boards. Baseboards is an American term. I mean, I totally understand it. Uh, and I'm not worried about it. I'm just saying for reference sake, I suppose. That one's fine. I've got all the way down behind it. That one is not fine. Kitchen timer went off, so you went to fetch dinner. Turns out that if you get distracted by a phone call and don't turn the oven on, it doesn't cook. Do you know, that's the sort of thing I would do. I once did it for uh, roast lamb. Twice. In the same... Uh, same week. Like, I was, I was like, oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll maybe... Um, do it tomorrow then. And I didn't cook it the next day either. I was having I was having the ADHD day to make make all or ADHD week to uh, really uh, mop it by. 
bit dark in here. Uh, what did I do with the light switch? It's over here, isn't it? That makes life a little bit easier. I can see what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm okay about that end wall. So, uh, let's sell that one. I don't know whether I can change the... Um, the duvet though without just changing the bed So the baseboards are done. The only thing that needs fixing is the floor. Should I change the lighting? I feel like maybe move this one to over here instead. sort of patch that I don't think it looks too bad I think it's the right colour I need to paint up there though hang on Okay, I think I've got all the paint done there. So I think this room can more or less stay as it is. I like this sort of uh, yellow. We might keep that for other places. And I might need more baseboard in other places as well. So we'll pop that out there. I think I do need to patch the floor, don't I? I don't know whether there's anywhere else that needs uh, that particular, because it's the same downstairs, isn't it? I don't know whether there's anywhere else that needs patching. We'll leave that down here for the time being, though. Oh, I've got rid of whatever light that was, I presume. Okay, we've got a light. Yeah, there's no lights in here, obviously, because I put a new ceiling in, so. Right, let's, let's put baseboards in here. But I also need to put some windows in, don't I?
So let's find some windows for in here. Again, I'd like to get more. That's five by ten. That's a door size. Two by six. Will that fit? That would fit nicely. Do I want something bigger than that? Maybe a four by six if we can find one. Four by six. Four by seven, four by eight, five by five, six by six. I don't think I've got room for a six by six. Oh, I have. Would I want a six by six? It's got to go low down if it's a six by six. Where was the five by five? Let's have a look at that one. I can get that higher up. I think five by five looks best. We should probably put some light in here. I think I think I'm not doing it any favors by having absolutely no light in here right now. But I think we might paint the ends both ends the 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 nice bright yellow that I had. Um Oh yeah, lighting. We could stand some dramatic lighting in here, I think. Is there anything that I would consider dramatic? Not really. How low do those come? Oh, I could put them in between. No. Yeah, it would sit on that, but it won't sit. Oh, it will sit on that. I've just got to get it in the right place. I think two is probably enough, actually. Okay, we've got some light in here now. Definitely better. Right, let's uh, let's try using this paint in here.
Oh, I didn't fill that in with blocks. Oh well. Cavalierly paint over a light switch like that in real life. It's going to be a devil of a job to get it off again. Do you think I need another light at this end? I feel like I do, actually. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Now, bearing in mind this is the timber house, should I actually put timber back on this wall? Question mark. Put RGB LEDs on the beams. Last I noticed, Pokey had gone into the bath. Not, he wasn't in chat anymore. Snowdrake, are you being possessed by Pokey? I wanted dramatic lights. My my mistake. I wanted dramatic light fittings. Not dramatic lights as such. I wanted dramatic light fittings. So thoughts. I like the yellow up here. I definitely like the yellow up here. Although I need to get some more paint in that corner. Uh, but paint or wood? On this end. This end only. Not talking about anywhere else. No wood. You like the yellow? You personally don't like unicorn vomit. It's a real problem whenever you need to buy PC parts. Oh no.
Wood floor and ceiling is enough. Okay. We're out paint. What? There's a bit on the roller. We'll see how far we get. Well, we managed it. I had enough paint. I actually really like this room. So this is the new room made up of the uh, new floor. Oh, let's put it back to that and sell that. Okay. We probably need to hang on to the baseboard for a bit longer. Have we got a light in here? We've got a light. Probably not a light switch, though. Oh, we have got a light switch. That is not a lot of room light for up here. Although I don't know. Is it getting light yet? It is getting light. I should probably put in new window here. Those both look like they were five by fives as well. They were. Now, do I want to put 5x5s five five back in? Or do I want to go bigger and more dramatic? I quite like that. Gives me much more uh, presence there. I still think we need more light. I probably got rid of a lot of lights. Uh, Going to use the duplicate this time. Put that over here. Now, it's not going to let me, is it? So that's probably going to be a wall light situation down there. Because this roof isn't flat, it won't let me uh, put the... Uh, lights a, a ceiling light up so it will have to be wall lights for the stairs so we're okay with leaving this as is I think aren't we let me move the rug a bit
Right, we can get to there to sit down now. We've got plenty of flowers. Uh, so... Plants. Let's put some petunias in. There we go. Could possibly do with renewing the balcony fence. I'll come back to that, I think. So, if I turn the lights off, where was the light switch? Over here. I don't know why I put it over there. You need to live over here. Is there enough light in here? Again, I think we'll just put a third one in. It's a bit of a dark room, it's better in, uh, even in daylight to have the, what a gorgeous blue sky, uh, yeah, even in daylight it's better to have the lights on, but, but it's not bad. It's a very good size room. It's a big double. And then we've got this, which is our new room. We're only going to have be able to have relatively small pieces of furniture in here is the biggest problem with this room. Right, let's find a bed. So I don't know how tall Camden is. Actually, I don't think I want to make that high gloss wood. I think that's the warm high gloss is uh, what's available. But we were using beech, weren't we? Uh, pillows, just white, I think. Duvet, shall we go for a pattern? Um... Do you know I haven't done anything mad? Let's let's have a leopard skin. That's great. Well, that's not too bad. I think it's slightly lower that side. Oh, I don't think it matters actually. Right, let's see what we can do in way of, so that was Camden. nightstand we want a low one for this as well warbler 
Oh, Mishmash, which has got the zebra print on it. I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> Jungle theme room. I should have roof windows in there for sure. They don't, they, unfortunately, I don't get roof windows. I would love to have roof windows. Hi, Grace. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> Snow, Snow Drake had a bit of a culinary disaster. So we've got a sort of a giraffe, a giraffe and leopard team going. It's a bit, it's a bit safari in here, but actually in a fairly restrained way. I don't think anybody would actually object to what I've done there. You know, because you're in the browns and the cream family, it's not. It's not as garish as it could be. Also, big, um, big print, not, not a small print. It would look very, very busy if it was a small print. Like, let's see if I can find um, some furniture. So, mishmash. What have we got? We've got a little chair, which also comes in this sort of colour, which I think would work quite nicely in this corner over here. Those are all kitchen cabinets though. I want I don't want kitchen cabinets. I want drawer cabinets. So what does that come under? It's like storage or something? Storage. Tall storage, medium storage, low storage. Like these as window seats. I think that works. Oh, I probably want to I probably want to use a better uh wood though. Base. We want it in light beach. Bye. There we go. I, I'm I'm here for the window seats. I'm gonna bring this chair out a little bit. Uh, medium storage. works in there like that 
You'd want some hanging storage. I wonder whether I can find a coat hanger of some description. So is that coat rack? That's too tall for that corner. It's not too tall for this corner though, is it? Could get it in there. That's too... Oh, it's not too long for there, but I can't get it very high up. Get it higher up in that corner. That works. Okay, so we've got some hanging space as well. This hanging space and drawers and we need a rug we need a rug and we'll go with another safari ish rug maybe the elephants decorations Uh, floor decorations. No fringe. I don't know whether it's the details or the, um... Yes, yeah, not is it? It's the base I want. Zebras? Were there elephants? Am I making the elephants up in my own mind? It might have been the umbrellas that I was looking at the other day that's making me think of that. Could go with the monkeys, the zebras. Could go with a zebra rug. But if I went with the zebra rug. I want it in that sort of same sort of cream and brown just to. I like the hat. It's just a little hint of madness. So we've got, we haven't got a, um, so we've got a nice, Nice big bedroom. So we've now got two big double bedrooms. Which leaves me with this room to make into our bathroom dressing room. Hmm. Can I freshen that window up beautifully just by doing that? I can.
I feel like I want a bigger, bigger. Oh, you know what we want to do here? I want to sell that. What I want to do is put smaller windows higher up. So we can maybe fit our shower in here somewhere. You like it? It's just mad enough. I think so. The thing is, it picks up the colours of the stone in in the chimney breast. It's not, it's, you know, it, and all of the patterns are big. If you had tiny patterns, this would look really, really horrible. But because the patterns are quite big and the furniture is very plain, I mean, other than the nightstands, it works absolutely fine, I think. So we might be able to get a, um, a shower in here. Hello, Kaya. You haven't got a pokey to annoy, so you need to come and talk to me. Wow, really? What? Yeah, he's here. Hello. He is standing on my bosom. I don't know whether you can see that, but he is standing on my bosom. And he just knocked my headphones off. You can hear the tigers. <laughs> it was Kaya. <laughs> So are you telling me you need dinner? Is this what you've come over to tell me? You come over to tell me you needed a cuddle? Or that you need dinner? I'm not entirely sure. Oh my God. Scramble, scramble, scramble. More standing on bosom. No drink, only cat. What? Yes? You love me. I know you love me. I love you too. But you are a big, big galoot, aren't you? You're a great galoot. Oh, it's such a happy face. Can, can stream see happy face? No, you're going to hide it under my chin. Loaf needs love. Loaf needs the snuggles. He just snuggle puss. Probably dinner, but I can distract him by cuddles for a bit. It's coming up for break time anyway, so... Let me just try and get some um, windows in here and then I'll maybe take a break. I'm thinking oh I can't get them in there because sadly I mean that works that works quite nicely but this side is covered by a roof So one, two, three, four in. Three, four, five, 
Six is the six is the closest I can get. It's a shame because I would have loved to have had these sort of lights like this. Yeah, he definitely wants some food. I'm being berated. <laughs> Can everybody hear me being berated? <laughs> I am the world's worst. He is starving to death and I'm ignoring him. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Can people hear the protests? He's so hungry and I'm ignoring him. What am I doing? Oh, and now I've got Mandalay as well. Well, working with the architecture, I've gone for the round windows. What do people think? I think I could get a shower in here and you wouldn't see anything you shouldn't. Like maybe on this wall. We'll have to see. Hasn't seen food in years. I'm so mean. I'm so, so mean. Wow! All of them are wow! Well, I'm being told that it is in fact break time because somebody needs food. I did say as soon as I put the windows in, I would go and do the thing. So, do the thing. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink. Medicine if you need to medicate, water if you need to hydrate. Think about moving your body, changing your focal length, being the best you you can be. Uh, and you can play some pixel maze whilst I'm AFK. Exclamation point wonder to put a sprite in a pixel maze. And coordinates if you want to guide it. Although if you exclamation point wonder the sprite will go round the maze at random. I will see you in five to ten minutes. Disco Doris Channel, home of incompetent gameplay and handicrafts.
just a moment, please. We will be there with you shortly. We are your leading source of incompetent gameplay and handicrafts. Please hold until this content resumes. Thank you for holding, your patience is appreciated and we will be with you shortly. reached the Disco Doris channel, home of incompetent gameplay and handicrafts. Custom is important to us. Please hold. operators are busy right now. We will get to you as soon as possible. Just a moment please, we will be there with you shortly. And I'm back. And the music seems to have died in House Flipper. Oh well. Right. Um, oh, there it goes. Some tile. Let's, let's choose some tile for this room. The gremlins are fed, yes. <laughs> They're both tucking in very happily. Some cube marble. Oh, we can only change the rotation on this. I was hoping we'd be able to change the, the marble in the tiles, but... Cream marble tiles, cream granite, a 
dark multicolor marble. I don't know that I want something too dark. I sort of like the lots of different Okay, so that's the floor tile done. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Now for the wall tile. I feel like maybe a subway tile. in a cheerful colour. Does that work against the floor? What would people feel about that sort of subway tile in that very pale blue? You're trying to wash dishes and your gremlins are sniffing your booty. <laughs> Shouldn't have a stinky booty, cat Halo. bright green I think the green might work actually <laughs> you're clean it's all right I'm I am teasing Halo I'm sure you know that I don't mean it so woo so next question surround or no surround I, I'm I'm thinking no surround around the door.
I actually really like that. Should we leave the panelling on the side there? Right, let's move that. Right. And I think the toilet can go on the outside there. Get a really nice bath in. Right, showers. Is it too tall? It's too tall having the wide one. It will literally only fit there. But I'm okay with it literally only fitting there. That's okay. So we've got the bathroom part done. Now let me put in the dressing part of it. Did you just take a screenshot of House Flipper for me? You're not sold on the floor with the green. Feels like it should be lighter. Ma Mandalay says she's had food. It is now cuddle time. Uh, medium storage. Are there any relatively short wardrobes? I can get a couple of wardrobes in.
I I know what you mean, but it's a big room in a lot of ways, Snowdrake. I think he can stand it. Oh, count on the keyboard. So that makes up for the fact that there's uh, not much uh, storage in this room. There's a bit of storage, but there's not much. So anything hanging that doesn't go on the coat hook or the little side, there's room in here to, to store it. That bit better. <laughs> also, we need lights in here. I haven't actually done any lighting. So, thank you for reminding me about the lights. I didn't I didn't get the top bit tiling there but that's fine nobody's gonna notice that bit anyway I do like the way that they've done the tiling on the inside of the arches I think that that actually works really beautifully Yeah, that was a bit of crap electrician here. Right, lights, 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 lights. Uh, just LEDs on the... Uh, on the ceiling, you reckon? Because we haven't got very much ceiling, so... Let's put one there. One there. I didn't want that there, Kaya. You just trod on my fingers, didn't you? Right, let's move this one so it's a little bit more in line with everything else, eh? There we go.
So how many of you would be happy with a bathroom and dressing room like that? I mean, in reality, you wouldn't want wood furniture in here because it would all get uh, ruined from the steam. But, you know, let, let's put that to one side. I think it works, personally. Right, we need to do out here. What colour do I want out of here? Do I just go with a very plain white? Do I try and match the colour that's here? Or do we go for a completely different colour? I, I quite fancy trying to do an ochre of some description, a sort of a sandy yellow colour again. But we did find that there wasn't very much in the way of... Um, We got anything desaturated here? Faded pink. Purple vibrant. Yeah. Ooh, how about that? I like that. I, I think it's doing it a disservice to call it pink, though. Although maybe not. It's sort of a salmon colour, isn't it? I'll do, I'll do just the one wall and see what everybody thinks. It is very bold. But we're in a hallway, so... I think it works really well with the white. Like the white doors. You turn the entire wall into built-in closets, but you get that, guess that's not a house flipper option. Not at the moment, no. Yeah, I guess that the, the you like it was uh, to do with the uh, bathroom and dressing room in one. It's almost a brick colour. I see that it does lean pink, but it, it's not a it's not a girly in your face pink, is it? I could always paint over, but I I am really keen on this colour. I wonder how much your choices actually affect the value in this version of House Flipper. Because we haven't really got that information. Works really well with the floor. I love how warm it is. I don't like the baseboard with that though. Or if there is a baseboard, it should be white and not that colour. So I'd have to put it, put it back in anyway.
You like the pink, but you'd keep it just to an accent wall. Yeah, I, I'm saturating everywhere. Every so often, a bold colour is a major statement. It does make it darker. And conversely, I would like to... make this completely white. So actually the accent is white rather than uh, the pink. Don't dislike it as much as you thought it would. Just need some lighter stuff on the walls to break it up. Yeah, some art. Some art would definitely be a thing. But it also needs some actual wall lights. Which I said we needed anyway down in the... Uh, um, darker area.
I know it was a bit unconventional, but can you see what I was going for? Do we want this rug? Just going to pull it down here for the time being. Hmm, I'm inclined to actually keep the rug. Yeah, I think we'll keep the rug. And the green is fine with it. Good thing you have lots of data. Your internet just died. Oh no, Halo. You need internet for background noise while you clean. Are we your uh, internet of, are we your noise of choice today, Halo? I think we'll have a pair of those. Yeah, they look nice as a pair. Is that as far up as it'll go? You have come there we go. Thank you so much for the resub. 52 months in a row. Thank you, thank you. How is the foxy? How is she feeling? We're all worried about her. And I hope she's feeling so much better. But I know it's... Uh, she's a very sick baby. She spent most of the day in her hidey hole. She's still feeling unwell then. I'm so sorry. It's a bit too big, isn't it? There we go, Snowdrake, what do you think? You've got that light breaking it up now. I've gone for very simple black and white pictures. 
Yes, all the pets to Foxy for from us. All the pets and the love and the wanting her to get better. I'm glad I've surprised you in not hating it as much as you thought. Uh, Snow Drake. Now, I don't want... I, I like the colour, but I don't want the... So it's faded orange and pink. Uh, I don't want the wood surrounds, I think. I might do a baseboard, but this colour is fine. I just want to get rid of the, the wood surrounds. You love that, uh, Halo. I know, um, Snowdrake was very, oh my God, that's just one, one accent wall. And now it's, now it's done. It's very nice. <laughs> I think a lot of people are very frightened of color. Uh, but you don't need to be. I mean, there are definitely colours I would steer away from in terms of... Um, I, I really would have, you know, the, the lime greens and the deep purples of this world. Probably not the best idea. yellow's another one. Anything in the neon level? Uh, that's plaster rather than stucco. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with keeping the stucco here, but it has to stay on its own side. So this will like delineate the the room off by having that different texture. This will look a lot better once it's actually uh, a flat white rather than all this dark brick. I mean, you do you. If you like acid yellow and lime green and you can live with it, then you go for it. But many times, most people will not share your uh, enthusiasm. I've been deep in watching lots of shows uh, about people trying to sell their houses and it amazes me how many people think that, you know, their taste is superior to everybody else's and that, uh, you know, the fact that their house has been on the market for a year or more is nothing to do with the fact of those choices. Hello, Pepsi Low Raid. Hi, Pepsi Laura. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you again. How are you doing? Hi, Lacavian. 
Hi, Nat again. That I love that Nat again. <laughs> welcome, welcome. How are you doing, Peps? Were you playing? Um... House flipper again. We'll we'll show you what we've been doing in a moment. Let me just finish painting this ceiling. So I, I put a whole extra room into this particular house. You were playing house flipper too. Lovely. Right, let me let me have a quick show show tell. So we're at this one, which is known as the timber house. I obviously I've been changing things because you can see that I've been changing things. That there, there are there are some external cosmetics that are gonna need fixing. But this was open completely to the roof. I have uh, just been putting in, um, look, you can just see the roof there. Uh, I have put in uh, a new ceiling there because we have mostly done upstairs. I, I haven't really started on downstairs yet. So this is our hallway. I've just painted it this, this deep brick pink, which, um, which chat were very unsure about until I finished it. But they, they really like it now, I'm, now I've finished it. You're continuing work on the Weir Beaver house. One of your eagle-eyed viewers noticed that you hadn't planned for a bath. So, uh, yeah. So this room we've left pretty much as it was. The only thing we've done is freshened it up with some paint and move stuff around. We've put in a, a double um, door to the balcony instead of a single door and a, and a window. So we've got a, a double door out to the balcony and I replaced uh, an old and tired. But again, you can see this is where the window was, but I've put in double doors instead. So I'm going to have to do some cosmetics out here. But yeah, I re replaced a plant, but that's about it. Just just shuffled around the furniture in here and gave it a lick of paint and made sure the uh, woodwork was all consistent. So pretty minimal work to this one. This one is the new room. This this room did not exist when we came to the house. So I put in the floor and we have uh, new windows. We've got some window seats. We've got, uh, uh, and I went just a little bit wild with the animal prints in here. We've got a nice zebra uh, and leopard and giraffe. How was placing the roof? the ceiling it wasn't easy i'm not going to say it was easy uh building these little walls was a bit of a pain too and i might have hidden uh where it went wrong in that corner with a cabinet uh, <laughs> uh but yeah so getting the wall the little walls in at the side to actually make it you know a cohesive room wasn't easy and then we sacrificed a bedroom that was up here in order to make a uh dressing room, uh, bathroom. So we've got, uh, we've got this, I, I put in the new windows up the top so that we could get, you know, the furniture. And then we've got a lovely bath in the corner as well as a nice luxury shower with the rain surface. Lou tucked over in the corner. Cause when I came up here first, there were two bedrooms no bathroom and i was like i would not want to live in a house which didn't have a bathroom upstairs nothing worse than having to get up for a wee in the middle of the night and everything's dark either you blind yourself putting the light on to go down the stairs or you fall down the stairs you know those are your two options so yeah so there are two bathrooms down here um and i don't see the point so there, there, there is possibly going to be some, some change about here. I think I might take that out. 
like the main bathroom down here even though it didn't need very much work and we've got a small bedroom here I might move the wall just a fraction and we could have two small children's rooms downstairs but they'll still have the the small half bath actually that's big enough to get a shower in the corner as well so i i think there's i think there's definitely stuff we can do here right i need some lights in here don't i it's getting a bit dark been there done that good design choice thank you peps So I hope everybody thinks uh, that that's uh, done okay. Right, what sort of lighting would we want in this room? I, I've left a couple of odds and ends here. Let's have a look at the, uh, the lighting uh, options. I do miss the amount of lighting options that were eventually in House Flipper 1. I'm sort of tempted by this. Is it too low in here though? It is a bit. That's a shame. I also haven't decided yet whether this sort of boot room at the front should actually be closed off. I think it possibly should be. So let's move you a little bit. I think maybe I'll... Um, close that off entirely so that we've got you know you come in and you've got your boot room area before actually it, it gives you that double insulation we haven't touched the kitchen yet either it's a decent sized kitchen diner uh that just needs some sprucing up i actually don't mind the layout of it or anything like that but I'll need to put in at least one new cabinet and then I can copy and paste the uh, style across to the rest of the cabinets. Would help if I put the light on so you could see what I was talking about. It, th this is all sort of uh, tired and needs refreshing and the kitchen is tired and needs refreshing. I actually don't mind the powder blue, but the worktop looks horrible. And I can't change one without changing everything. So I'll maybe pull out one cabinet here and then copy and paste the style across. I want a fridge for in there, obviously, fridge freezer. You hate not having a bathroom upstairs. I don't blame you, Snowdrake, so do I. I mean, it. it there are definitely tiny houses where it's just not an option. Uh, some of the older terraced housing in the UK was not built with a bathroom. So they most people have solved that by just building an extension on the back that they can put the plumbing straight into. Often the kitchen as well. Um, but, you know, in many cases... If you can get a bathroom upstairs, get a bathroom upstairs. Oh, I don't want to copy a style with that at the moment. I want to do some selling. Because all of these need to go. Right, that didn't solve my how what to put on the ceiling, did it? Are they a bit long and dangly too? 
Yeah, I think I need something that's a bit more flush in this particular room. I mean, I think we're I think we're falling back on uh, on the defaults. see the other one That's a bit better, isn't it? That's a bit brighter. Again, why... Why the door and the... Th I would definitely move this. And have double doors. Right, I'm going to I'm going to brick these up to make it easier to put the double doors in. Oh, you actually don't have a bathroom upstairs, Snowdrake. Oh no. Cuz you're doing your uh, apartment up, aren't you, or your house? I seem to remember that it's, you know, work in progress. Very cheap to brick up and it's so much easier to replace stuff. So when we uh, did our remodel of the top floor, we had two bath bedrooms up there and no bathroom. And I managed to squeeze a shower room in. We, we completely changed the upstairs layout. So there are now two bedrooms. They're both double bedrooms still, I think. Although one's a little bit of a push as a double bedroom, it's better as a single. Although what we've done is we've got a small double of a four foot in. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, having a shower room up there is so much nicer, particularly having the toilet. The shower is a bit temperamental though. It doesn't always get the, because it's the top floor and the um, hot water cylinder is down on the bottom floor. It doesn't, it takes a long time for the shower water to warm up. Uh, I was after doors, wasn't I? I want some double doors. Okay, so I'm going to have to patch that bit. Windows. I think it's quite big. Okay, so what did I pick up? A 6x6 six six and we want a 7x8. Okay. Yeah, 6x6. Six six. 
That'll be the one then. Right, uh, now we need to use this. Fine surface finish. Lish. I assume it's Lish with the XOs either side. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy your time here with us. Welcome, welcome. You should have some follower emotes you can use in chat. And everybody here is very friendly. Except sometimes Dina. She has her moments. You love this game? Me too. I, I was a great fan of the first one as well. Hi, Grace. Rude. You, you were the one that were like, oh, he's friendly. Last time I said we were all friendly, Dina. I think I am going to put that wall in I was talking about. So this is so that uh, it feels uh, cosier. We've got that insulation from uh, the outside. Right, uh Oh I need to put a I need to put a door in. Uh building doors doesn't actually matter which internal door I choose. Uh interior doors I think that was the right one anyway. Excellent. Right, let me finish uh, tidying this up then. Right, and I also want to... Right, let's put that down. And I want to also paint surround over here. Because... Oh, thank you to that surround. Do you know, I don't see any reason to actually change what's 
happening over here? That looks pretty okay to me. We wanted some updated furniture in here. This would stand a nice big corner um, sofa, wouldn't it? Is that a bit on there? It was. There was schmutz on the corner of the carpet. Right, uh, let me move some of this stuff. I don't know whether I'll need it for anything else. But let me put it out of the way anyway. So I think we'll refresh this bathroom to make it a shower room. This room needs a lot of love as well, but we might move this wall to make it even tinier. Don't think it needs quite so many windows. If I have less windows. And in more rational places. We can move the bed and not feel too bad about it. Okay, so I'm going to do the furniture in here for the time being, but when we come come to do this. Why are you not closing? There we go. Finally. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to take this out and I think we're going to have two bedrooms down here. Smaller smaller rooms. But I, I think it's better than two bathrooms. I don't see the point of two bathrooms down here. Now that I've got a nice big bathroom upstairs. Right. Sofas. Seats. Sofas. We do, really do only have the one corner sofa option, don't we? And it's this one. Oh, and it drives me mad trying to get it to line up. What what do people think about a, a bright yellow sofa? I actually quite like it, but I feel like a lot of people are going to be, what the hell are you doing, Doris? It looks comfy. I like it. And what we really need now are bookshelves. Although I say that, I don't know where I'd put the bookshelves. I'd have to get rid of this console to put the bookshelves in because I feel like actually people are going to want the TV aren't they and if I've put things around this way then the TV needs to go here although I could put the TV on the wall Maybe bring the console round here.
I haven't got that quite central though. That looks central. There we go. Yep, that looks much more central. from a bookcase I've even got room for a bookcase there as well haha -ha. Right, uh, yeah, I put plant pot in there, didn't I? I need, I think I need a plant here to make this feel less unanchored. Oh, that's a bit too big. Yeah, I like that. I think that's the sitting room done. Do need a new front door. I'm going to see how it looks with the full panelling. I'm a little unsure about it, but I need to put it in before I actually make my mind up. Now that I've put this in, do we need the bulkhead is my next query to myself like this bulk head here. I suppose it gives a sort of a psychological effect. Okay, the lounge looks great. Make sure 
puts Grace's books on the bookshelf. <laughs> I'm going to take these and put some of these bits and pieces in the other room. Thank you for following Joiner2468. We appreciate. My apologies to everybody for that. Welcome in. have a collection of boxes over here. Called them bookcases, filled them full of boxings. Okay, right. So, let me flip this into selling. Now, so we need cabinets. And we need a skinny three in what I actually fancy. Skinny three drawers. Actually, I think we'll keep this. So it's the wow world that we're looking at. And I don't mind the blue. But apparently we're going to have to do that. Uh, the base is orange. What? Uh, where's the beach that we've been using for everything? Okay. Beach for the base. The top. I'm inclined to go for the white or the grey. I think the white marble. And then I wanted to keep the blue fronts. Is that light enough? What do people think of that? I think I'm okay with that. And now, copy the style, paste, 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 paste. That has much improved matters, I feel. We need to do something about the backsplash tiles next. Uh, 
Uh, tiles. We're going for... Just a, just a plain white ceramic. I think that looks really um, sleek. Don't like the yellow on that wall there. I think I've got white paint somewhere, haven't I? I have. Oh, I need to put the tiles down before I go and fetch the white paint. Ooh, do I do the floor in it as well? Uh, put that back into selling mode. I like the white. I like the blue. That's what I, I need now. Looks great. Thank you, Lish. Oh, everybody likes it. That That's the living room, I presume. Right, I don't think we're keeping this wallpaper. Although, having having cleaned things up a bit, we need to do the, something about the... Um, the window. But I could do something about the window very quickly. Do the copy style. And paste style. And that looks better already. Wonderful. Um, having said that I wasn't keyed on the wallpaper, I think the wallpaper actually looks really nice with the, the refreshed cabinets. But I don't like the bottom half. So how, what do I want to make the bottom half look like? Do with finding a similar paint, I think. Like paint colour to this blue. That looks like a reasonable match, I think.
how do people feel about that? The blue's not exact, but it's not bad. Excuse me, could you please go along there? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to go. My, my mouse is going, my roller is not. There we go. Slap it. Slap it down instead. Having said I was not for that wallpaper, I'm, I'm going to leave it. It's all right. Although it's dirty there, let's uh, let's sort that out. So just to decide what type of table to put in here, table and chairs, I reckon. To the interior, to tables. That's a coffee table. That's a shame. Uh, where are the dining tables? There we go. Dining tables. I sort of fancy a circular one. It's not really big enough for that space though. And that's a bit too big. Oh, the dilemmas. That's too small again. I don't know why they call this a coffee table. This is definitely not a coffee table. Actually, I think it would look better with a gold rather than a blue. So picking up the gold from the centre of the daisies. Yeah, I've no idea why they call this a coffee table. It's way too big to be a coffee table. I think we'll put the um, chairs in and then move the table back to over the chairs. Seats, benches and chairs. Why is that chair so expensive? I do not appreciate. That one's much, much more reasonable in... Uh... So was it that color I used? Yeah, pretty much. pretty good with that. Now I can move the chairs to uh, line up with over there. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's uh, flip that back to selling. Don't think we need any more blue paint or white tiles. I'll keep the white uh, for the moment okay that 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 refreshed really nicely the um, the kitchen 
Oh, I still need a refrigerator. There we go. Refrigerator is now in. You can drink coffee while sitting there, but it doesn't make it a coffee table. I know. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a dining table, that one, isn't it? So, we've got these two and that bathroom to sort out yet. So, and the exterior. So for any newcomers, we started at the top. So when I came in, this house uh, was open right to the roof, but I put in uh, a new floor. So there's a ceiling here and a floor upstairs. This allowed us to make a new room. This was not here. We have a new room up here. We, uh, we tidied this room up. It didn't need a huge amount of work. We tidied and um, repainted in here. There's a, there's a nice balcony out here. You know what? Whilst I'm here, I'm going to change this uh, fence because uh, currently it's... Uh, one of the things where the wood looks really worn. Right, I don't know how... Now, where were the fences? Fence. Yeah, the colour's fine on that. There we go. We've got quite a decent sized garden out the back. You know what? We've got enough to do that I think we've got a second stream's worth out of this. So we'll have a quick look around at all the things that still need doing. So outside, the outside needs uh, patching and some love and attention. We have this whole workshop that needs attention that we haven't touched yet. Oh, are we looking at next door's garden? We were looking at next door's garden. We've hardly got any garden at all. Oh, that's a shame. But yes, I want to do the two bedrooms down here. And this shower room. So there's plenty to do here still. Again, we might keep more of the wallpaper than I expect to keep. We'll have to we'll have to see how it goes. Oh yes, did I show the bathroom up here? We, we changed a bedroom into this bathroom and dressing area instead. So we've got uh, an upstairs bathroom with shower, bath, toilet, sink and obviously all this dressing area space. Which helps out with the fact that this room here hasn't really got any height for putting much hanging we we tried to facilitate some hanging with a coat rack there and some hooks there but that's not how you're going to want to have all of your clothes 
and likewise this also has restricted head height so having the dressing room really helps out both of those places so thank you all for being with me thank you to those of you who chatted thank you to those of you who lurked thank you to raids thank you for resubs thank you to new followers I appreciate all of you. Thank you to my mods as always. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is toast time. Uh, and I don't know what else I'll do tomorrow in toast time. We'll make it up as we go along. I'll be back on Saturday. Saturday is Pal World time. And Sunday is Coral Island so i would love to see you at any of those streams i'm going to take you across to cripster who is playing dredge uh and in the meantime as always be kind be awesome.